You and I talked months ago. I'm not going to say we were the first. I don't know if we were or not. But last September, I think it was. I know I was. We were talking about fertilizer companies. And because of natural gas prices and things like that in Europe, it takes a lot of fertilizer, I would imagine, to grow cannabis. You recommended Nutrien, NTR, and ADM. They've crushed it. They absolutely have, Sully. Those are two names you typically don't think about when you're looking at the best performance of the year. You absolutely hit Nutrien and Archer Daniel Midland. So we look at two stocks that certainly have enjoyed the commodity push higher, but it's also about the essentiality theme. And as we really had a hard time measuring the actual reopening of our global economy, because we've had so many different variants. I'm not going to bore you to death, but we talked about Delta, Omicron, who knows what the next variant may be, but we actually are now seeing this global reopening. So names like Nutrien, names like Archer Data Midlands, those are boring, but those are really where you're seeing investors flock. We've beaten the drum so many times here, Sully, that boring is the new sexy, but it's absolutely true when you see the undervalue. You're seeing investors and shareholders, and that's why I get excited about today. We have a nice cross-section coming at us. If you look at some of the names, if it's Union Pacific, if it's American Airlines, Dow, Chemical, all these different names are kind of helping us better understand of what this reopening really looks like. But yes, we are seeing this industrial <laughs> boring tilt come to fruition. I just picture somebody in like the corporate PR department of Dow Chemical saying, hey, boss, let, let's go with bring sexy back and license Justin Timberlake's song. And we'll use that as our our marketing slogan. JT I mean, will be booked at every really holiday is, party moving forward in 2022, unequivocally oh, selling. It's going it's to be like a, the Union Pacific holiday party. Justin Timberlake, <laughs> everybody. I mean, but hey, guess what? Good for him and good for UNP. It's nice to see companies who actually make stuff do well. Absolutely. And you think about Peter Lynch. We all talk and, and follow Peter Lynch in the 1980s. By what you know, we just took it a step further. You know I manage the portfolio of the Essential 40 ticker ESSIX, but that essential 40 portfolio really speaks to what we use, what's critical to the U.S. economy, American yeah. way of life. And some of these names you kind of just forgotten about, right? You look at waste management, you think about international paper, some of these different names that you just didn't give a lot of love to or they forgot, got forgotten about, but the Lockheed Martins, the Boeings, you do see a resurgence. You are seeing investors really tilt this this grappling, this wrestling match between value and growth, it's so evident. We have seen such a dislocation. Look just yesterday when you saw, I know the NASDAQ futures are coming back this morning, but this yeah. dislocation persists. So you have to be a stock picker. I'm a big believer that in 2022, you continue to be a stock picker. But this volatility, it's a great opportunity. And I stay cautiously optimistic about earnings season. A lot of people are pretty skeptic. Yeah. We saw a, a range bound in the S&P 500, but I think there's a lot of opportunity. As long as you understand, you have to stay away from certain black eyes like the high flyers like Netflix. Netflix punched a lot of people right square in the teeth. But yeah, I think oh. you have to learn from that and you have to be repositioned for an inflation type of hedge portfolio. And that's where some of these boring names really play a nice part for an inflation hedge in any portfolio.